Hi everyone, it's Jelly Buns. My, my arm is feeling much better. I'm able to draw a little bit again, which is great because I am very backed up on Twitch emote commissions um, and I have to get those done. But I wanted to do another sketchbook video this week because um, people seem to like the last one. I enjoyed doing the last one. This one's gonna make me feel a little more cringy because it's not my best sketchbook. Um, in my defense, I was doing watercolors for the first time and figuring out around this time what kind of illustrator artist I wanted to be. I was figuring stuff out, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and dive right in. Um, yeah, please don't judge me too harshly. This was 2018. Um, this was a particularly um, difficult year in my life. I was sort of being forced into a move I did not want to make, um, to live with people I did not want to live with, and it was just very... It was, I was very anxious the whole year. Um, so I don't know, this, that might be reflected in this, but it's also very experimental. So I was trying to figure out how to work with watercolors um, in an illustrative sort of way, What how, uh, how watercolors even worked. I was never... I was never a watercolor artist. I'm still not. Um, there are a lot of galloping cats, so you might hear little feet running across the floor occasionally. Um, so yeah, I, I actually really like this first page quite a bit. Um, I, I, I really, I enjoy drawing donuts and I enjoy drawing anything that's like kind of drippy or kind of like a, a, a wet substance. Um, so I, I definitely had fun in um, drawing this and I like the way I put like sprinkles in the background uh, This is really fun. I like these kinds of colors that I used actually I kind of want to take Color samples of all of this and like make it into a palette and draw something with it, you know um, I, I guess I was just drawing birds. I don't really know Again, I'm, a lot of this is me trying to figure out how to work with watercolors. That's really pretty. <laughs> I like that a lot, and again, I like this little swatch area here. Very cute, cute little cartoony birds. Um, this was actually me comparing two different brands of watercolors. I had the Prima Marketing watercolors and the Jane Davenport watercolors, and I tried just kind of drawing and coloring the same, um, the same character, uh, and I felt like they were pretty comparable. Cause I couldn't really take like the exact same color, um, but I tried to pick the closest colors that I could. I, I ultimately enjoyed the Prima Marketing better because they were um, a little bit more uh, easily watered down, and I really like that transparency that you can get from watercolors and like how pastel it can look. So I think I I, I only had like one little tin of Jane Davenport, and they're great! You can see, like, they're very saturated, it's very nice, but I enjoyed the, <clears throat> I enjoyed the Prima, Prima Marketing colors better. Oh, this one is super cringe! <laughs> it's so bad! Um, this is supposed to be Chibi Chibi from Sailor Moon. We're not gonna dwell on this one, because it's just so terrible and I hate it. I did a lot of, um, color swatches with the watercolors, because I'm really, I'm really still trying to figure out how they work, and I, and I think I had arranged a large tin at some point, like I took all of the pans out of my tiny tins and I, I bought a bigger one and just tried to arrange the colors and then this way this was like my guide on what what color was what. I did this a lot. I, I, I found that I really enjoyed um, just messing around with palettes to sort of keep myself um, calm, you know, I struggle with a lot of anxiety and PTSD, so I, uh, I was like one of those little practices that I did to sort of keep myself in a better place mentally. Sailor Saturn, I don't totally hate this one, it is a little weird, I was definitely trying to play with style. I was trying to figure out, very much trying to figure out, like, what I wanted my style to look like. I, I did end up keeping this idea of rounder heads, rounder faces, like, I don't really point my chins a lot, 
Um, I've noticed a lot of people really like to point their chins, and I was like, I, I am gonna go in the other direction. Um, I enjoy this. I think I, so it says leftovers here. I think what that means was like whatever was in my, my palette and all mixed up. Um, I just took what was there and painted stuff. I, I love to do dragons. I love to do, um, just whimsical fantasy type of imagery. I love this thing in the corner. I really don't have any memory of, of, of like a lot of these, but I, whatever's going on in the corner there, it looks really cool. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is, but he's a friend. Um, I do a lot of trees. I definitely draw a lot of trees and foliage and stuff. I really like this. Um, I, I enjoy the, the black outlines um, drawn in after everything else is colored. I think it looks really nice and crisp that way. Um, pretty sure this is supposed to be a marionette from uh, um, Miraculous Ladybug. I hate this. This I have not. I have clearly not learned how to draw shirts on characters yet i don't know what's going on here but it's not good this is definitely turning into i roast my old sketchbooks video very 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 quickly um i explained in my last sketchbook video that i do a lot of this where i just sort of draw shapes and put faces in them in my sketchbooks a lot it's just a practice that i do um this is a sailor mars surrounded in fire um it's kind of cute it's not bad for an artist who's still struggling with how to draw people Oh look, another Sailor Senshi, <laughs> Sailor Pluto. I love this, this is this is very pretty. Um, so I, a few years ago, had done a, um, or like a replica, my own replica of like the um, cafe terrace at night, but I did it in Crayola, crayons, because Twitch, uh, or a Twitch, a Twitch group was running this contest that was for crayons. Um, like it was all it was for artists on Twitch, and all you could really use was crayons for this contest. And I wound up doing a replica of that. And I never, I didn't win, but I got like an honorable mention. And and I, if I have, if I can find the the file, I will pop in a picture of it here. Um, but I, you know, I enjoyed doing that so much that I tried doing a watercolor version, and it's it's not terrible. I don't know why I added a wall. It's, it's, it's a little bit, a little bit weird. I kind of edited it a little bit, I guess. I, I, it looks like I tried to put brick in and then just gave up. Um, I actually, I quite like this considering when I did it. Um, this is Zelda. I think she's pretty cute here. Uh, Sailor Uranus, who is a, a very, like, top tier. Sailor Senshi for me. I think she looks super cute here. I like the little hair flip that I gave her. Um, I was trying to draw different body types. I think this is my sister. My sister um, has this haircut and looks very much like this. So I think I was trying to draw my sister's body type. Uh, I like am bad at fish still to this day, but I still enjoy, I still enjoy drawing them. This is a streamer on Twitch who, um, I, you might, you may or may not be familiar with her. She's a partner streamer on Twitch who is an amazing human being and just doesn't let anything defeat her. And, and I really admire her. Um, she's called Imperial Girl on Twitch. She loves Disney. Um, I drew her in her, like, Disney bow and ears. And she's, she's just amazing. Go check her out. She's great. She's an extremely talented seamstress and just very, very mom-like and friendly. <laughs> uh, look, another Sailor Senshi. It's Sailor Neptune. I am probably the most proud of this page. And I like how it bleeds into this page. Um, so I guess as a spread, it works really well. I'm just very... I'm very happy with it. Like, what's going on here? Every once in a while, like, there's a nice, there's a nice spread in the sketchbook. Um, again, it, I have to try to forgive myself. It was 2018. It's 2022. I have made a lot of progress since then. But this, this is, I quite enjoy this. <laughs> this is another um, spread that is is pretty good. I wish that 
my camera was picking up on how saturated these colors actually are. Um, but yeah, this is like Poplio and Primarina, but I can't remember the middle, the middle evolution. I've never played this game, but I really like this, this evolution series of Pokemon, especially the, um, the starting and, um, how it ends up. I feel like there's, it's a little bit, this Pokemon goes through an awkward teen phase in its middle evolution. Um, I don't know. I, I like this. It's weird. It's a little, um... It's like trying to... I feel like I was trying to interpret the feelings of the shore. Certainly not, like, actually drawing the shore, but certainly trying to interpret the feelings of the shore. I, I like it. I like this guy right here. Um, so as I've said before, I really want to do illustrations for things like children's books and board games and stuff like that. So I was definitely trying to play with uh, more whimsical shapes and bright uh, colors. And I think that's just what was going on here in this page. I love drawing giraffes because my husband loves giraffes. And so I, I one time for Christmas, I bought like a blank book like a blank sort of, just a blank book. And I, even the, the front was blank and I had painted on that. And I just did all different kinds of giraffes in different styles. I, I don't know if he still has it or not. Uh, Cause we've had to get rid of a lot of things in several moves that we had to make um, that we didn't have a lot of control over. But yeah, my husband really likes giraffes. So I've drawn a lot of giraffes in my life. Oh look, another Pokemon spread. This is actually pretty cute too. I, I, I don't have a lot of complaints about this. This is um, one of my best friend's favorite Pokemon. Um, so I just probably why I put Togepi in there. Togepi looks significantly more detailed and shaded than the rest of them. Um, my husband really likes Jigglypuff. And apparently when um, they introduced that there would be a baby Jigglypuff, he was very excited for it. But when he finally saw what Iggly Buff looked like, he was really disappointed. <laughs> I think he's over it now, but um, he thought that it, that Iggly Buff was really just unsightly. Uh, but I think it's pretty, I try to draw it pretty pretty cute here. Yeah, I like the spread. This one's this one's cute. Um, I went through this phase of like just weird elongated characters for a while um I, I i don't hate this spread though i think it's really cute <laughs> it's kind of it kind of has um adventure time vibes uh these are some cafe doodles um i was in a barnes and noble starbucks cafe and there was this like really cute girl and just this guy that really didn't seem to want to be there, <laughs> so... Because, these, you know, these were the people working there, and this dude was, like, not having it. So, I drew them while I was sitting, um, in the cafe. I really like this duck. I have no recollection of drawing this duck, but I really like this duck. And, like, this fish and bird are definitely, definitely friends. Oh, look at these cute little thumbnails I did. That's kind of neat. They're upside down, clearly. I... I like, I like the little thumbnails. I don't have any recollection of doing that, but uh, they're cute. Um, I, I think I also did this in the Barnes and Noble because um, there was just a wall of, of like books that one normally reads in high school. And I remember reading this in high school, um, Lord of the Flies. So I drew the thing that I remembered the most about Lord of the Flies, which was the pig on it, the pig on a stick. <laughs> um, I don't know why I decided to draw flying turtles, but it's fine. It's, it's cute. 
Um, I really like this. I have definitely duplicated this tree a couple of times because I really wound up liking how I did this. Um, this is around where I started to get more confident in doing like backgrounds and scenery and background scenery and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Um, this is going to be a little hard to see because it's like very, very light and pastel-y and it's, it's pretty. I like it. I'm definitely, I feel like you can see some improvement in this sketchbook, so that's cool. This is probably just, this is probably a girl I saw on Pinterest <laughs> that I decided to draw. Oh yeah, that looks, I, I don't remember drawing this guy, but I'm loving him. Uh, this is pretty nice. I definitely think you can see some, now that I'm looking at it, um, as a sketchbook tour, I definitely feel like I can see some progress that I made within this sketchbook. Come on, boys. Daniel, get off the table. Um, these were, I guess, Starbucks redesigns. I think those are pretty great. I like them a lot. likely at a cafe. I probably did all of these colors and then sat down later and just drew over the colors. Kind of has Animal Crossing vibes actually. Uh, still life. I still really, I, I really like doing still lifes. I find them to be pretty relaxing. I love drawing onions. <laughs> um, that's very much I feel like that that first thing you do if you ever go to like a drawing 101 course like that's the I feel like that's the first thing they make you do carrots I think this is really cute it's a nice simple illustration I really like this I don't know why I thought this was a good idea but I think it's pretty neat I really like the colors that I used but um yeah that's it that's that is the whole entire sketchbook of, well, the watercolor sketchbook of 20, 2018. If you're curious, it is a pentallic, it is a pentallic watercolor sketchbook. I would absolutely buy this again, especially, I mean, if I wanted to do um, watercolors. This, this is held up. It's, it's got a nice little spot for if you want to keep a pen or a pencil in it which I never use, um, but it's it's definitely, it's, it's a great shape, it's a great size. I really like my sketchbooks to not be too much bigger than this. Although I have been using a lot of the um, ELO sketchbooks lately, which are a little big for me. I think they make a pocket size, so I might have to try that one out next, but I um, absolutely recommend this sketchbook. Um, but thank you so much for joining me, and I will have to go have breakfast now because I made myself sit down and record this video before going over to Blue's place to have breakfast because I knew if I did that, I would not come back. <laughs> I would I would, I would, would have just stayed at Blue's house for hours and not gotten this video done, so thank you so much. Um, I hope you all like it. Bye!